So, uh, good, good, good evening, everyone. A warm welcome to all the ESM jury members who are here in the room with us and those who are following the live stream from their countries across uh, Europe. On behalf of UEFA and the European uh, Sports Media Group, represented here on the other corner of the table by our president, Jörg Jakob. We congratulate our two winners for this year UEFA Player Awards, Aitana Bonmati and Erlik Halland. And uh, before we give the floor to any questions from uh, our journalists here, I would like just to give briefly the results, so you notice also for your report. Um, Erling, uh, let's start with Aitana. Aitana was first uh, ranked with 308 points, second Sam Kerr with 88, and third Olga Carmona with 72. So congratulations, Aitana. Thank you. And on the other side for the men's, Erling first with 352 points, second was Leo Messi, 227, close Kevin De Bruyne, 225, two points. So I think we are ready to start with the press conference. Raise your hand. And we are ready to start. Let's start the crown question for Aitana first, please. So who is for Aitana? Sander, here. Uh, hello, Aitana. Congratulations with your awards. Very deserved. Um, I'm coming from Holland, from Football Magazine El Football. My question is, Barcelona won the Champions League. The national team of Spain became world champion. Why is Spain dominating women's football at this moment? Yeah, uh, good evening, thank you. Uh, I think we have been working hard uh, a lot of years and, and improving a lot, uh, especially physically, because we always had, had the talent, the talent, the technique, but uh, uh, we, we have to improve our, our physique and we did it. Now we can compete uh, with uh, everyone in, in, the, in the world. And here are the results, no? With the club uh, winning the Champions League and also uh, with the national team winning the World Cup. So incredible year for for us. Thank you, Aitana. Let's alternate one question for Erling, who is here, Gavin. Uh, hi, Erland, Gavin Hamilton from from England. Uh, congratulations on on the award. Um, you seem to have a, a very natural talent for goal scoring. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your? your goal scoring ability, is it something that you feel is natural? And, and was there a point when you were growing up that you thought, hey, I've got a, something special here? I, the thing is when, when I was young, I was like most of us watching football. And then when I was watching football, I saw when the people were celebrating and then I was like, oh, I would love this to be me. You know, so uh, so that was how I was thinking, and then it became natural for me to become a striker, because the strikers score mostly the the goals, uh, and also the the love or how you how you celebrate and all these kind of things when you're playing on yourself, what you do normally you shoot on a goal, and then now uh, with my friends I was celebrating a lot, doing the other kind of celebrations. So it's a, a little bit natural. And of course, I've been working on it, um, but it's a difficult question because if I'm born with it, I, I don't think I don't think I'm born with it. I think I've been working on it a lot, and then it comes natural for me uh, with the understanding the game and everything. But it's a difficult question. Uh, I'm, I just love the feeling, and that's why I do it. <laughs> Let's go to the second question for Aitana, who is. Yes, in David. Hola, Aitana. Enhorabuena. Enhorabuena. Congratulations. Uh, this year you win the championship, the World Cup in this summer. Is this uh, your best year uh, of the, your, your career? Thank you. Um, gracias, David. Uh, in English also? Okay. I will try. Uh, 
thank you again, David. Um, yes, uh, of course, uh, I can say this is my best year since I am professional football player. Uh, I've been growing uh, a lot these past years uh, with Barca, with national team. And, and this year, uh, as I said before, uh, I don't have any words for, for this year. Winning Champions League, winning World Cup, and also growing as a as a footballer, it's it's a lot. It's it mean a lot for me, and this year uh, will remain on my heart uh, forever. I'm Solosi George from Nemzeti Sport Hungary. Erling, at Manchester City, what had been the biggest challenge for you to adapt to the way Pep Guardiola wants team his team to play? The most, the most difficult. Um, good question. Um, what is the most difficult? I have to think. Uh, he, I mean, he's he's really demanding, Pep. Uh, everybody knows this. Everybody can see this. Uh, so of course it's it's not easy because the club kind of was a bit used to not playing with a striker, and then this was a perfect challenge for me to come in and uh, and show everyone that City can become even better with a striker. Uh, and then of course some people talk: uh, Did he choose the wrong club? Did he do this or that? Uh, this is normal. This is the job of the the people. Uh, and then it's my job to to prove uh, to prove them wrong, and, and I think I did this, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, but the challenge, I, I don't know. It's it's a big club, uh, and it's not easy to come into a new club, uh, a lot of games and everything. Uh, but I don't really know. <laughs> it's difficult to answer the question because I I didn't think of this, and uh, I don't know what the, the biggest challenge was, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next one for uh, Aitan. Jen, second row. Hi, Jen O'Neill from England. Sincere congratulations. Aitana, the way that you play and your dedication for the sport, do you see yourself as a role model, not just for girls in Spain, but for girls and boys all around the world? Yes, I always try to say that I want to be a role model uh, also for boys, not only for girls. It's important for for the young boys that can see uh, role, um, w w women as a as a model, you know, as a role model. Not only men's, because I remember when I was mm, ten years old, eleven. Now I'm twenty five. Um, I only had um, uh, men's role model, you know. Uh, I always say that. I always fix my eyes on Iniesta, Chavis. Uh, but now uh, it's important that we can be role models for boys and girls. Who is next for Erling? Paul here in front. Paul Gamlemon from Aftenposten, Norway. Congrats, Erling. You seem to have reached uh, a new level of uh, fame this past year. So, well, some may call it superstardom. Is it more like an honor or a burden, or are you just uh, completely uh, relaxed about it? Yeah, I I enjoy it. I'm sitting here tonight uh, winning this, so I'm not complaining at all on anything. So I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Next one, Aitana. Yeah, Congratulations, Aitana. Uh, Joanna Tokarska from Poland, TVP Sport. Uh, um, and uh, how much has women's football uh, developed, and, uh, developed uh, in uh, recent years, uh, particularly uh, with the new Champions League format? Uh, and do you think could be could be the next uh, steps to accelerate uh, that uh, development? Yeah. Um, thank you. First of all. Uh, the last few years, we we saw a, a very quick development of women's football. Uh, I remember a few years ago, ago six years ago, when I played mini study in Barcelona. Uh, I always, I all, um, only have uh, had uh, th 
3,000 people in the stands, and now we are playing against um, one of the stadium full. Uh, in Champions League, also in World Cup, so for us it's, it's a dream. And, and yeah, uh, what was the question, sorry? <laughs> no, sorry, because it's my... Yeah, this one I want to... Sorry, because my English is not the best. But I'm trying. So, so the next steps, I think uh, there's a lot to do right now. Uh, we have been um, watching the last few days what's happening in Spain. So we have we have been um, in a struggle situation, and there's a lot to do. Uh, now, now I I want to 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 say the same that there's a lot to, to do. Hi, uh, Troels Bær Thørsen from uh, Tipsblad in Denmark, and this is for you, Erling. Um, so, as you probably know, in my country, you know, we're not supposed to praise Norwegians, and vice versa, surely. Um, but, but I have to, even, even I have to admit that, you know, you're pretty, you're pretty perfect at the moment. So, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. They forced me to say this. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, Erling. Like you're doing really well. You know, like first season couldn't have gone any better. Like, is there anything that you're still working on? Any specific tactical, technical issue that you want to improve? Yeah, a lot. Uh, latest today, I was working uh, together with the coaches uh, before I came here on a lot of things. So uh, there's so much I can still learn. Uh, and uh, I can improve so much. So, yeah, uh, I'm happy I'm still young, because I am. Uh, and uh, I'm also happy that there's so much more I can become better on, because it, it is. Uh, so uh, I think I'm in a perfect place to keep on uh, developing. Uh, I think Pep is, uh, Pep and team is doing a great job, I have to say. Uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, to keep on uh, building on different kind of things and to develop my my game even more. Let's take uh, let's take one each and then we finish with them. Last one for Ayrana, la última aquí. Alguien? Who is it here? Uh, yeah. So you are the Swedish newspaper Bulostining. Ayrana, first uh, big congratulations on a fantastic season and especially to the World Cup gold. But I have to ask you, how do you feel about uh, that your historic gold was overshadowed by uh, something that was not so good? Pardon, pardon, can you? So, <clears throat> your historical tri triumph uh, was overshadowed by the, something negative. Ah, yeah. How do you feel about it? I can explain in, in Spanish because I, I can't talk better, you know. Uh, sí, la verdad que hemos tenido un año muy exitoso, tanto a nivel de club como a nivel de selección, pero mm, la verdad que no se está hablando mucho de, de, nuestro, eh, de nuestro mundial, eh, de lo que hemos conseguido y detrás de, de esto hay muchos sueños, mucho trabajo. Es una pena, es una pena, pero, pero como he dicho antes en... En el, en el escenario uh, tenemos que trabajar para una sociedad mejor y aún queda, queda mucho por hacer. Esto ha pasado por, por algo y, y espero que sirva como precedente para, para lo que viene. Uh, hello, Erling. Um, Hugo Vasconcelos from Abola, Portugal. Uh, you've won basically all competitions at club level. You only missed the, the League Cup last year. Uh, you're won winning a lot of uh, individual awards. Um, what are your goals next? Is it possible to achieve that level of success, for instance, with the national team? I think it would be difficult to uh, achieve a treble with with Norway, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, no, it's not possible. Uh, 
it's honest answer. Uh, but I do want to achieve things with Norway. Yeah. Uh, I hope in my lifetime I will be able to play in uh, what do you call uh, even uh, Euros or World Cup. Um, that's a big goal for me, and uh, I will do everything I can to make it to make it happen uh, because the country deserves it, and uh, and I would love to do it. So uh, I'll work as hard as I can to to achieve it, but no trouble. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations again both and we may see you again back with the same profit next year. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.